Hey, what's going on? It's your boy back at you with another video. And, uh, I saw, uh, Lakers lost by a point. Uh, excuse the chip. Uh, 111 to 110. Kyrie Irving had, um, had 38 points. He balled tonight. Helped him win this game. And, um, Christian Wood had 12 points. Tim Hardaway Jr. had 12 points. Uh, Keebler had, um, Kleber, Kleber had, whatever, how you say his name, 10 points. Uh, AD had 26, 10 rebounds and 3 assists. D'Angelo Russell had 11 points. Um, Beasley had 10. Reeves had 16. Scooter had 16. No, my bad, my bad. Scooter had 15, my bad. Hachimura had 10 points. Lakers are three games out of 500. Under 500. So, um... I'm going to pull up the standards. And I just think that people are overreacting. And they say that the season is over. How's the season over when the Lakers are in? If, if, the, if the season ended right now, they would be in a play-in right now. So why is the season over? It is not over, Okay. You don't know how LeBron James MRI is going to look. I need you guys to hear me out. Just calm down. Don't get nervous. Because when you get nervous, that's when you're going to make mistakes. That's when you're going to fail. I want you to relax. When you get Brian back, he can be rested. He can come back healthy. Anthony Davis is playing very well right now. He had 26 points tonight. How is the Lakers season over? And for them to be in this spot, you got to give kudos to um, Darvin Ham. He has done an exceptional job. Without, without one of the best players in the NBA, you still manage to be in, you still in a playing conversation. I think that's an accomplishment. But the Lakers have to keep, what they have to win games. And I think they can do it. They're strappy. These guys, the, the guys they got, Hachimura, um, D'Angelo Russell, Jared Vanderbilt, Malik Me uh, Beasley, um, Gabriel, um, Austin Reeves, um, they show a lot of heart. Even though they didn't win tonight, they played well. So what is everybody talking about? The season's over. I don't understand. I asked the season over. You're still in the 10th spot. You just have to keep winning. You have to figure out a way. To win ball games, you have to put away put away teams. You can do this. I'm not going to say anything bad. Just relax. Stop panicking. It's not over. You're in the tenth spot, and you'll be lined up against the Thunder. I think you can handle them. You've beaten Golden State. I can't believe I'm saying that about. About the crew, even though they're struggling on the road right now. Timberwolves just lost Anthony Edwards. I don't know what what's the um what his injury looking like. So um I'm not sold on the Clippers. Only teams that I really see right now, and you beat Sacramento in Sacramento. So 
I don't think the season is over with yet. It's not over. It's not over. So where is everybody panicking and throwing in the towel? That's what you're going to do? Are you going to fight? Or are you going to... Are you going to fight or are you going to, are you going to complain? Are you going to get shook up, excuse me? Or are you going to fight back? It's up to you. It's up to you. You win, you win. If you get on a four game winning streak, you can move up to a fifth, you can be a easy be a fifth seed. And you don't have to go through the play-in nonsense. If you just calm down and learn how to finish games. You only lost by one point. So what is the big, what is the problem? What's the big deal? What is everybody panicking about? Just relax. Cause the more you get nervous and Laker team just need to relax and play basketball. You're still in the tenth spot. High season over. It's not over. And for them to be three games out of five hundred, that's a big improvement from last year. You can build. You got uh, now. You have with these young guys. They just got traded. You have a lot of youth on this team now. You got a lot of hustle on this team. And this really could be a, this trade was really a blessing. Those trades, I mean, you got to give Mitch Kupchak, my bad, my bad, not Mitch Kupchak, Lord, forgive me, I know how old I am. You got to give Rob Palenka, he's due for that. He rolled the dice and it's working. Even though they lost tonight, they didn't get blowed out. They lost by one point. It's just that I'm not talking about people anymore, but people just say things just to just to just to get views, just to say you know. You don't need to do that, man. People, you need more people being positive. That being negative, thinking negative, is not going to get you anywhere. What is everybody talking about the season over? It's not over. You just have to win. You have to win these games. You have to win. And you have the talent to do it. Even without Braun, you can go to playoffs. I just think that that he that Lakers did a great job this season. This season a big turnaround. Because last year they only won what thirty four games? They've already won thirty four games. So isn't that an improvement? Isn't that a big improvement from that last year? They see around this time last year, they were eliminated, man. Their season was over. It was one, two, three, Cancun. So the Lakers being three games under 500 and still in the 10th spot. Great job. What is everybody fussing about? And you're doing this without a 30 point, a 30 point LeBron James, a 30 point score. I just don't see what do people do on YouTube? What do they do that for? What are, why do they complain? Why are they panicking? What is it to panic about? Anthony Davis has played well. He had 26 points tonight. What more do you want the man? And 10 rebounds. What more do you want the man to do? But people still call him soft. People still call him. They think they still think they're jo- he a joke. They make fun of him. I just don't understand. He's a very talented player. And he has since he came back from injury. He's played he's played majority of the games. I know he missed some games early this season. But he's playing well. I need D'Angelo Russell to be a little bit more consistent. But D'Angelo Russell has played very well. That bitch, that bitch, that bitch is young now. 
And they got a lot of hustle. They got youth. They had something they didn't have last year. We had the likes of Carmelo Anthony. We had the likes of Trevor Reza. We had um, Dwight Howard. You had Kent Bazemore, a non-factor. That bench was absolutely terrible last year. Now you got guys that, that, can, that can score, that can play defense, that can shoot. This team is a lot better than it was last year. You know, I'm just saying, like, you don't need all the theatrics. I just think it's ridiculous that some of these people up here, I swear to God, they just, it's just toxic. It's toxic as hell, man. Just being extra, just the season, how is the season over? And I'm looking dead at my at my tablet. Y'all are 10 spot. I'm just saying, relax. Calm down. It's bigger tragedy in the world than than the Lakers losing tonight. I mean, what's the what's the beef? I don't understand. You three games under five hundred. You won thirty four games this season. They only won thirty four seat games last year. I just I don't understand that y'all don't see the progress this team is doing. Because that Toronto game, when they were getting blowed out, and they came all the way back and won that game last Friday night, that kind of kind of changed my mind. That they are fighting, man. The stra- I call them the Strappy Lakers. Because they're fighting. They're not, they might not have won tonight, but they're fighting. You know, it took Carl, it took, uh, Kyrie Irving scored 38 points for the, for the Mavericks to win. I think that's an eye-opener. Because everybody else on the Mavericks, they got to step up. I don't know how long Luka going to be out, but I'm just saying. I don't see where everybody's panicking. You're still in the playoff spot. You still can get that. that. Okay. Because the fifth seed is 30. 37 wins, you got you got 34 games. You won 34 games. All you have to do is put together a winning streak. That's all you have to do. And you're in the playoffs. And then you get Brian back and you can see what happens. Then with this young team and him, now he has, now when he, when he gets double, AD and Brian get double in the, in the paint, now they got people that can hit threes that can make that can make people pay. Season is nowhere near near over. What is what is what is the problem? Like what is I'm I'm trying to figure it out. Because I just think it's ridiculous, man. People just do things just to step people up. And you know, just keep more lies and we don't need to do that, man. I just think it's very extra. Then you got people, and I'm not talking about people in general, I'm just talking about, talking about LeBron James, PEDs, performance, performance enhancing drugs. Like, come on, man. We all know that dude didn't do that. You know, you don't have to keep, I just don't understand why these guys just keep putting LeBron and the Lakers team. If you do not like the team, why keep talking about them? You know, why not say something positive? Why why do y'all want to listen to these fools, man? Why do you guys just panic all the time? Just relax. You know, you 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 can't you can't live off your emotion. Cause your emotion will get the best of you. It's just like when you like people do these YouTube videos. You notice how calm I'm talking. It's like you going into a ring with a boxer. You can't just start swinging and swinging and swinging. You got to have a, have a plan. You have to just, you can't just, just throw all your punches. You can't do that. You have to, 
take one jab at a time and be slow, defend. About boxing, that's how you got to take basketball. Just calm down. There's no need to be afraid. I mean, I think you can beat. I think you can beat the Thunder. I, I know you can beat Toronto, uh, the Timberwolves. The Warriors is a disappointment. I'm gonna get on them tomorrow. Uh, Dallas can be had because you already beat them with LeBron in Dallas. So that's the Clippers are suspect. The Suns is Suns. It depends on KD's health. Because if KD ain't healthy, you can beat them. Memphis, <laughs> that's a different animal. Sacramento, they deep. But you already beat them in Sac. So these teams can be had. So what is, I'm trying to understand, like, what is the, what's the problem, like? <laughs> I just don't, I just don't get the BS, man. It's just a lot of BS that I see. People just panic. And there's no need to panic. Um, there's no need to panic. There's no need. You're not in a hurry. You just got to just play basketball. Um, they got a couple of old, you got a couple of old whole games. You got the Magic. You got the Magic. That's a winnable game. Um, you got the Suns without KD. That's a winnable game. Let me see. One, two, three, four. Hold on. Hold on. Give me a second. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You got eleven games left. Okay, you you can make the playoffs. You can make the playoffs. You could be a six seed. But you can do it. I mean you got the Bulls. You got the Bulls back to back. And you got and then okay, you got what you got? You got the um You got the, the, mag, the Magic on Sunday. You got the Suns on Wednesday. So you got an extra day off during the week. Um, you got the Thunder on Friday. That can be won. You got the Bulls at home. That can be won. You got the Bulls in Chicago. That can be won. Timberwolves with Anthony Edwards being out. That could be won. These are winnable games. Rest of the schedule is pretty much easy. So there's no need to panic. So what is people talking about the season is over? I mean, I just feel like if you're not going to say anything good about the team, why keep covering them? And I know I used to overreact. <laughs> I used to be, I used to, I used to be act crazy with them theatrics. But, you know, it just, that doesn't get you anywhere, man. Y'all just Laker fans, just calm down, man. It's not oh, it's not the end of the world because you lost tonight. It's not. And I'm looking at the schedule. These are winnable games. You can control your own destiny. But you got to be able to perform and, and get it done. D'Angelo Russell is too talented of a player to score 11 points tonight. He has to step up, but he, but he has the potential. He, ha he has it. He can do it. He had, he had, he he can, he can, he can, he can give you thirty, easy. But he has to be a little bit more consistent. But outside of that, he's been playing well. This team is playing well to be without Bron and still have a shot. That says something about coaching, ain't it? People say that Darbenham can't coach. He got this team. If they, if they play, if they. If the season ended right now, the Lakers would be in the play-in right now. They'd be in the playoffs. All you have to do is just keep winning. And you got you got the next three games. Okay, I'm going to show you the next three games. You got the Magic at home. You got the Suns at home. They can win that. They don't have KD. They can win that. You got the Thunder at home. The, the Thunder at home. 
You got four games at home. So, I mean, these are winnable games. You got four the next you got four home games in a row. You can go on a four game winning streak right now. And these are winnable games. So there's no need to panic. Stop panicking. That's it. That's all I gotta say. I'm out.